What's up, guys? Welcome to the show. It's Wednesday. So what? What? what's up? <laughs> it's time for Word of the Week podcast, you guys. I appreciate you sticking with me again through another one of these fabulous shows that we put together for you. Um, yeah, it's hump day. So you're halfway there if you're in the workforce out there doing that 9 to 5 Monday through Friday thing. If you're like myself as an artist, your week never ends, does it? So um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Word of the week. What is Word of the week this week? We're on video again this week. We might. We got a, a, a text, a, a Twitter, a tweet <laughs> request to do the shows on Facebook Live. Ooh, I don't know yet, guys. I don't really know how I feel about Facebook Live and it makes me nervous to do the shows live <laughs> i like to edit them and we used to do the sunday shows live uh, thoughts from la to the uk what you want to say sunday i think is what we called it but um at any rate it was a bit difficult sometimes technology didn't like to play ball so we'll we'll, we'll see we'll try and see if we can get that uh facilitated for you guys you know we'll, we'll see what happens but anyway i digress on with the show um word of the week Word of the week this week is Cosby. <laughs> oh, yes. Bill Cosby, as many of you know him as Heathcliff Huxtable from The Cosby Show, or he did stand-up comedy. You know, he was, uh, he was very famous in the 80s and 90s. Uh, at one point, he was considered television royalty. He had the highest-rated television show um, with The Cosby Show. The Cosby Show was number one for like something like four years in a row on NBC and never dropped out of the top top 20 uh, ever um, he was also the highest paid actor at one point in the 80s so fast forward a few decades <laughs> we move forward a few decades now we know a potential different you know side to the man known as the cause um, allegations of multiple rapes uh, have resulted in a trial, which has actually started this week, which could see him sent to prison for up to 10 years. So, question that a lot of people are asking, and I'm seeing all these videos online. I was doing research today uh, to, to, to finish up, the, you know, some bits and pieces about this story, and. Um, I was I was seeing some seeing all this stuff online about it, and um, pe people are saying, "Why now? Why all of a sudden are we seeing all these rape allegations and all this stuff being brought to light now?" Right? So um, I don't know. <laughs> we even heard from former supermodel Janice Janice Dickinson. Claiming that she was raped in Lake Tahoe. She's got some sort of suit going in Los Angeles um, against Cosby. At least she did as of last year. Claiming that he was saying that what she was saying was a lie. So, and anyway, uh, I get their safety in numbers. So maybe that's why so many of them are coming out now. They've all decided to come out. You know, one, two, three come out. And then, you know, whatever. So, all of these, all of these that came forward, there are only, I think it's three maybe five that are being uh, considered as part of this this suit that's just started against him this this trial um, maybe the statute of limitations had run out uh, lack of evidence I don't know so we're seeing that it was initially something like over 50 I think it was or 50 people uh, that's a lot of people <laughs> that's a lot um, even if it was 20 and um, I saw this on, on a video and I thought it was interesting. The guy says, even if it's 20, that's a lot of people. And, and a lot of people don't seem to realize how many people 20 is. You know, you see, say 20, yeah, $20, 20, whatever. But this is how many people 20 are. <laughs> so, even if it was 20, that's a lot of people, right? So he was, he was obviously a busy man. Um, but what do we, what do we know? Um, 
about all of this. What we do know is that some of them were getting money from Cosby. We do know that um, for school, for housing, etc. When he decided he no longer wanted to screw around or, you know, with these women or fund their lifestyle um for whatever reason they were disgruntled i know one he was paying for university i think he was paying for her apartment or house or whatever and you know he didn't want to do that anymore and i don't think it was so much that he didn't want to pay for it he just was didn't want to see her anymore or whatever he was feeling bad or whatever he maybe got bored i don't know but she got upset about it and then went after him so some people are, are 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 claiming that a conspiracy is in the works. So let's look at that for a second. We had, like I said, initially 50 women that came forward claiming that Bill Cosby had raped them, right? Um, now, I appreciate the fact that Cosby is famous and has uh, he's lived almost twice as long as I have personally. But I doubt that most men even have sex with 50 women in their lifetime, famous or not let alone rape that many or sexually assault or whatever the, you know all the multiple charges were um so yeah i mean whatever so how many of you guys out there in the world on planet earth have ever heard of a man named daniel holtzclaw i know before i started researching for this show i hadn't heard of him i hadn't heard of him at all so think about the name i'll give you a second Daniel Holtzclaw. He was in the news. Um, he works for the public. He's from Oklahoma City. It's still nothing. <laughs> well, this man was sentenced to 263 years in prison for raping 13 black women. Okay. Holtzclaw was 29 years old. He graduated college in 2008 with a degree in criminal justice from Eastern Michigan University. I'm from Michigan. Ooh. And he had went to school there for, on a football scholarship. So he served on the Oklahoma City Police Force for about three years before being arrested and charged with sexual, uh, serial sexual abuse of women in the community he was assigned to protect. Shouldn't this be a major news story? Someone that the community is supposed to trust and respect? A man with a gun that can kill? And as currently we know, can get away with it in a court of law, right? Video or not. But I'm not here to talk about that. But you've never heard of him. Chances are you've never heard of this guy. So, I get, you know, I get that the downfall of a public figure is always news for everyone to drool over right you know there's actually a word for that it's called schadenfreude it's german obviously and it's it means taking the pleasure from uh, in someone else's misfortune kind of like when you go to watch a, 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 a race cars race around a track hoping that one of them crashes or going to a hockey game waiting for somebody to get beat up or something like that we build up people in this world you know, TV and movies and music in order to marvel at their colossal screw ups when we are ready to bring them down. So how many this is a this is came up in, in a feed that somebody sent me about this, you know, because I put out a tweet about it. Uh, how many, you know, black celebrities have died in the past 10 years that were on top of the world? You know, they had money and then died under mysterious circumstances. Uh, you know, yeah, but when you dig, what, like an inch or so beneath the soil, you see the real dirt, don't you? I mean, I, I can, I came up with just the three, the top three that most people know of. Um, Michael Jackson. They were constantly trying to destroy this man in the media. Whether he did it or, you know, what he did or didn't do or whatever, you know, we don't know. I wasn't there. He claimed, you know, he didn't need to sleep with the, and have those kids sleeping in the bed with him that's obviously weird behavior but look at him do you really think that he's not a bit off i mean the guy wanted to be white <laughs> you know he did everything he could to not look black he even had uh, children with a white woman which wasn't his sperm those kids are white so he didn't even want his legacy to be attached to anything so he was he was strange we get that but you know you say he paid him off you know, somebody would say, well, they, he paid him off, so it was, he was, you know, showing that he was guilty. And 
Yeah, he probably did want to make the case to go away. Yeah, that's not admission of guilt. You know, it just... It's, let's make the media circus go go away. Move, or maybe... Uh, you know, who knows? Maybe it wasn't admission of guilt. I don't know. But usually, you know, the people that surround you, they say, hey, you know, it's probably a, 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 a lesser of a blow to pay this X amount of dollars and just make this case disappear or at least die down a lot faster. But we do know is that ever since he bought that Beatles catalog, he was in the crosshairs. He was, period. They kept attacking him until they got what they wanted, didn't they? So he ended up dead. <laughs> no man, no way was this man and his family going to have control over that Beatles catalog. Something that was so cherished. So they bought it back at a fraction of the price, fraction of its value. And now it's, it's in control again. So I wanted to do another show about music and how um, important the, um, the music is to a certain part of, of society. Like, well, I'm in England now, right? And when I see how cherished the Beatles are, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, um, you know, all these legendary bands. But, like, no one is caring about all these other... This stuff you hear now is not going to matter. Anyway, I'm not going to get into that. I'm, I'm deviating. So, um, Prince. Prince battled with Warner Brothers for ages to get his own music, his, his music. He even changed his name to that symbol. And we were calling him Symbol Man and <laughs> the artist formerly known as Prince. Remember that? So he could record and not have to pay them anything. That's how deep that went, that he went to creating something so that he said it's, it's, it's not pronounceable and all this other stuff. Of course, he had that make a mysterious uh, uh, spin to it. But really what it was is he didn't want to pay them for, you know, his music. So after years of legal battles, he finally gets his music. Decades. He finally got his music. He finally got the rights to it. Finally had control over it. Dead. <laughs> Just like Michael Jackson. Whitney Houston, same thing. Just disgraced, destroyed. Yeah, she did drugs. So what? Elvis Presley did drugs. You guys gave him a stamp and called him the king of rock and roll. Those weren't even his songs. He didn't write music. They, they stole music from black artists and they gave it to him and he... Whatever. That's another, that's another story. <laughs> I'm getting off topic. So, my point is, is... These things happen. Now, uh, you know, I'm not trying to justify... You know, people die. I get people die. They do. They die. Alright? They die. But they all were on drugs. All of them. They're musicians. So they're... They're not normal, I guess. I don't know. Bill Cosby tried to buy NBC. This is the this is where the conspiracy people are going nuts. He tried to buy NBC more than once. Now, agree with Bill on his views on black society or not. You do know that he was trying to put together a certain image of the black community. And this is why a lot of the black community didn't agree with him at a certain point in the 90s and a little bit later because of things he had said but he and his group had been um had his group he and his group been able to uh purchase nbc the power they would have had would have been so immense when you control programming especially on such a, a massive platform you change perception you do when you're when you're bombarded with something over and over and over and over again whether it be a lie or not you start to think of it as fact it's the truth i've seen it on tv i saw it on the internet i read it on the magazine white jesus perfect example okay that was the biggest successful sales campaign in the history of man <laughs> okay so coincidence or not the first attempt by nbc didn't happen but Cosby's uh, son, Ennis, was killed at the same time they were trying to uh, purchase NBC. And Cosby was destroyed mentally. He was a wreck after that. You know, time passes. He comes back again in the mid-90s to buy the network. Something like $4 billion, I think. Him and his conglomerate had come together. And um, at the time, NBC was in last place with, you know, as far as ABC and CBS. It had old, antiquated shows that had been around. It weren't that they weren't good shows, but they were old, like Cheers and Dave Letterman show. 
you know, and the other networks are putting out these new younger faces, these new shows. But bankers from all over were trying to get this to happen. They all wanted in on this acquisition of NBC by Cosby and his group. Goldman Sachs, Merrill Lynch, the list goes on and on. You know, banks from other countries, they wanted in. And NBC said, nah, well, yeah, we're not selling. <laughs> we're not going to sell it to you. We're, we're going we're gonna to ride this out. They had like a new CEO. We're going we're gonna to ride it out. Fast forward 10 years and GE was happy to sell NBC to mm, Comcast, which owned 51% at that time and would then get the rest of it some 10 years after that, I think. Hmm. So you can't have it, but we'll sell it to these guys over here. Even though you had the money and you had the backing and everything, they had a, a team of, of animals out there that were ready now. So now we have the birth of the I'm going to do it myself media types, right? You've got Tyler Perry. He has his own studios in Atlanta. He funds his own projects. He gets them distributed. He controls it all, more or less. And it's almost all black actors in his films. So Kazi wanted to get this vision out, you know? Decides to do the same. This is when the conspiracy theorists are, they're, see, see. <laughs> he gets another group together to put this vision forward. His own studios, his own distribution outlets, all controlled by his conglomerate, his team. The powers that be say, jeez, here we go again with this guy. <laughs> How is it that no black person owns a network? No black person owns a radio station. No black person owns a magazine. No TV stations. Nothing. We had BET. But then Viacom came in and just gangstered that away. They took that away. And they were like, look, you either sell us this or you see what happens to your network. Now look at the programming on BET. What happened to shows like Teen Summit and 106 and Park? Gone. They've got like Martin reruns and like just nonsense on there now nothing to bring positivity to to the community now i'm not saying that there aren't you know small you know little people that own magazines and but you they don't own stuff like people time uh you know newsweek we don't own any of those big magazines you don't own any major radio stations that you're listening to music to you know uh those are all owned by white guys mostly jewish and that's again this isn't about race today but that's factual okay we don't own fox news we don't own cbs we don't own cnn we don't own msnbc we don't own nothing nothing okay we don't even own a football team do we i don't think we do we own nothing you're not allowed to sit at this table you can be at that table right so this is going down the wrong road again my apologies i digress anyway deviating from the point so now he wants to start his own projects out comes the evil right now like i said please do not take you know what i'm saying is about racism or anything like that uh, or what i'm saying as a denial of his actions i don't know i wasn't there neither were you right the only people that were there were him and the, the women that are accusing him and the only one that knows his intentions are him but we do know that something happened and now he's on trial at age what 79 80 79 not to suggest that he shouldn't he should get away with what he's done due to his age but really what good does it serve anyone to come forward now let's let's wreck this guy at 75 years old and make the last <laughs> 10 years or so of his life is be hell. Destroy the legacy that is Cosby before he dies, which will likely be hastened due to such a stressful set of circumstances. Bill Clinton raped, wait, sorry. Bill Clinton sexually assaulted multiple women. They called it sexual assault when he did. It wasn't rape. He was elected president. Bill O'Reilly did a similar thing, you know, in more, more, more recent news. And they said, yeah, you know, we're going to have to let you go. Here's your 25 million severance. You know, you can go write books and do speaking engagements. <laughs> why were these guys not burned at the stake like Cosby? I don't know. I don't understand why. They're all named Bill, too. I bet that was a bit ironic. He was the third, third, uh, the third time as a charm to get him. Anyway, can he even get a fair trial? Trial started this week. Today's Wednesday. Um... 
His trial is on its third day. I haven't read any of the news on it other than that his wife, Camille, was not there on the first day. Keisha Knight Pulliam, uh, Rudy Huxtable was there, and so on and so forth. It doesn't matter. But is there anyone out there who has not heard something about this case and in doing so formulated some sort of opinion on the matter? There has to be very few people. I don't know. But what I do know is that the court of public opinion is a mother. All right, several celebrities don't stand a chance. They just don't. I don't really know why, you know, or where this will end up. I don't know where it will. I just, I wonder why, um, like I said, it's happening now. I guess we have to wait a few weeks to find out. The trial is estimated to last only about two weeks. Um, but my prediction is as such. I, I, I think if it's at all possible, it's going to be a settlement. He's going to have to pay loads and loads of money. And at this point in his life, you can't take it with you. It doesn't matter. The damage is done. The damage is done to his reputation. So again, this goes back to the Michael Jackson thing. If you pay him, there's a set, it's going to be an undisclosed amount or something like that. You know, people are going to write books, especially after he dies. Um, but if not, one to three years in prison. Worst case, if he got the three years uh, with good behavior, he'll be out after a year paying the fine associated with the case was it $25,000 or something like that um, they won't let him off there's no way he's walking <laughs> since OJ walked no one walks they got him in the end anyway didn't they he's a moron serving 9 to 33 years for kidnapping and armed robbery OJ Simpson well done so my final thought um perfect the word perfect that should be the next week's show <laughs> perfect so to strive to appear or be perceived as perfect is one of the one of the worst things that we could ever try to accomplish in my opinion in my opinion so no one is perfect nothing is perfect right when we put forward this image of perfection of cleanliness of righteousness you had better not screw up because if you you know and, and when you do chaos right just total chaos schadenfreude <laughs> right take tiger eldridge tiger woods for example tiger woods one of the greatest golfers ever some say the greatest but tiger was not likable he said he wasn't black he said he was cal calibination or some nonsense like that the black community doesn't support you now when you try to uh intentionally separate from them depart you know from who you are so when he got caught up for cheating on his wife and she kicked his ass with a nine iron you know people laughed they laughed at him they were like ha 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 and he hasn't played golf the same ever since he sucks now he's awful because he can't handle it he's not strong mentally we didn't rally around Tiger Woods as a community. The village said no, and white people didn't care, you know, because one way or the other. You know, Fuzzy Zeller was somewhere laughing, just enjoying the fallout as many people do. Now, this isn't a black-white issue, like I said, so my apologies if it comes across as such, but I am just showing you how I see the behavior of these men cause them to not have the village support them when they have been exposed. Right, I'm sure Tiger was destroyed. <laughs> he was destroyed when he was arrested, and they ticked that box stating that he was black and not Calvin Asian. <laughs> Bill Cosby was the man telling us as a black community to pull up our pants and behave this way and not that way. So now that this chaos has befallen him, his he finds himself, you know, at the center of the biggest legal media storm since prisoner 1027820 or OJ Simpson as he was once known. <laughs> but you can't run around all sanctimoniously telling Eddie Murphy you can't do those kind of jokes and you're, you know, you're being negative or making blacks look bad or telling black America to act like this. You can't do that and you're living foul. Now you're a hypocrite. So then people don't support you again. It's rape, 
sexual assault or whatever you choose to label these actions as is clearly not acceptable and, and if found guilty he must be dealt with accordingly obviously but even if all of the acts that took place were in fact consensual the fact still remains that bill cosby cheated on his wife <laughs> not once but many many times right <laughs> up to 50 and that alone makes everything he has said just talk. I mean, I still enjoy the man's body of work, right? The Cosby Show was a major part of my childhood, and I still enjoy it. He was not the only person on that show, and to somehow feel we should be erasing that moment in history from our history is nonsensical. It just is. There were many great actors on that show, and there, a lot of good came from that show. They, you know, they were all part of the magic that was that show. But I think because we see these so-called celebrities on TV and we think we know them, you know, sure, we have seen them on talk shows. You see them on Graham Norton or sat on the sofa, Jimmy Fallon or Johnny Carson or whoever. And you think, hey, that's the real them. That's that's them being them, not actors. Hell no, it's not. Trust me, it's not. Okay? I used to work at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and I was around these people every night. What you see on TV is not them. <laughs> you're, you're, you know, here, here. Are you the real person that you are when you're on a job interview? Because that's all that is. They're being interviewed by a host or, or maybe on a date. No. You're the best you. Your representative comes to the table and makes you look amazing, right? Then you go off stage or back to your car and then the real you surfaces, right? It's 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 all a front, it's all performance. We do it our we do it ourselves, people that aren't celebrities. We have to stop idolizing these people, you know, we put on TV and film and the music industry. They are just people like you and me. They just get paid a lot to make us laugh, dance, and cry. And when they behave in a manner that that's other than, you know, what we have come to expect of them, we take them down for not being what we feel they should be. You know, it, it happens every day. Otherwise, tabloids wouldn't exist. We wouldn't have TMZ. You wouldn't have the excitement of Bjork attacking a reporter who kept photographing her child and she was like, stop, and then loses her mind and goes nuts. We wouldn't get, you know, excited when Alec Baldwin, Baldwin calls his daughter a, a little pig or whatever he said. You know, how dare they behave like that? You behave like that too, a lot of you. So don't even act like you're somehow better than these people because you do the same stuff. You just hold them to a higher standard because you see them on TV. You think you think that they're these these gods or something. You don't know, and I know I don't know, but we don't know what it's like to be in the public eye every single day of your life for years or even decades if you're lucky enough to shine for that long. It takes its toll on your psyche, you guys, and we no longer remain who we are. We become these guarded individuals that live behind walls because our gift of self is raked and our privacy is raped. And that's all I got to say about it. <laughs> so we'll see what happens with Bill Cosby. Uh, thanks for listening to the Word of the Week podcast. I'm Von Joseph. Please subscribe to the channel, you guys, so that you can get the alerts when the new shows are out and you help us grow. We know who's listening. We know we can interact. You can email the show at info at v3tv.uk. Subscribe to the podcast on Podbean if you're on Podbean. iTunes. Um, you can find us on TuneIn. Is, this, is it on TuneIn Radio yet? It was on before, but it got taken down or something. Um, Stitcher Radio, or I think it's called Deezer now. We're on there as well. Or you can go to www.v3tv.uk, you guys. You can sign up for the newsletter there, and we've got all kinds of shows there. Um, these shows also go up on my personal site at joseph.com. And um, like I said, thanks for listening, and I'm out of here. So... See you next week on Word of the Week Podcast. Thanks for tuning. Peace.